Yes, sir. Hi, uh, my name is Andy Fies with ABC News. And Crystal, a question for you. Uh, Mr. Dimitro has said that your father understands that he's going to be the guy who stands up for passengers going forward, that they're going to be vocal about the whole subject of what passengers are entitled to. So rather than this lawsuit being about an individual incident, it seems that your attorneys are elevating it into something much bigger. Is your father ready to be a, a simple? She doesn't know. <laughs> I, you know, I believe that's the way it's going to pan out. Someone asked, what else do you hope to, to uh, you know, uh, accomplish here? I hope that's what, what happens. I hope he becomes a poster child for, for all of us. Someone's got to. You know, when we're, huh? Is he prepared for what might come? He don't, I, I don't, I hope he is. I certainly will work with him on that. I, I certainly will, will be, uh, as will Steve, as will his family. Yeah, Dad, you're the guy. Someone's got to do it because what, I, what I've learned is most people, yeah, they're, they're treated rudely, they're bullied, they're, there's uh, discourtesy all over the place. That doesn't rise to running to the courthouse and, and bringing a lawsuit. So it took something like this to, again, get a conversation going. And I think it will continue. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Paris, by FAA law, the, the airline is uh, allowed to offer up to $1,350 to get a passenger voluntarily. What was the final amount that they offered Dr. Dow? What was the final offer that they made? I think it was $800. $800. You really didn't point out that they did not offer it. They didn't voluntarily leave. They could have offered more. No, it, it, they could have offered uh, $3,000, okay? He and his wife needed to get back, okay? So they, they weren't the ones, but there were, you know, you've got to figure, well, I don't know, $1,300, yeah, I, I'll go tomorrow afternoon. Maybe somebody would have done that. We'll never know. They have not reached out. I thought, I thought we were clear. I, I'm saying he misspoke. I'm saying he misspoke. Exactly. Yeah. Is that clear? He did not. Or did his people. So that's fine. I, I'm not, I have no quarrel with that. I have no quarrel with that. Do you want to hear from him? Not really. I saw him. I saw him yesterday. I don't know what he would change. Not really. I mean, I, I, I'm, not looking, I'm not looking for a telephone conversation with Mr. Munoz, okay? I, I don't believe that would be fruitful. I'd rather he spend his time changing the culture, culture of United Airlines, okay? Chatting. We, by the way, his public apology to the family, we accept with gratitude, okay? But I don't need to, sir? That wasn't my word. I said he misspoke. I don't know. Maybe he thought he did. I, I don't know. But he did not. Okay. Okay. Somebody who hasn't. I'm sorry. You are. Sorry. When do you plan on filing this? When when our investigative uh, work is done, uh, we will file suit. I don't really have a clue when that'll be. Uh, it's true, we have two years to file it. I promise you it won't be that long. But it will be filed in state court, Circuit Court of Cook County. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Mark, I have a daily Harold. Can you clarify what Mrs. Dowell's license meant? And had she been offered, she been offered to you as well? Well, I think, I, <laughs> yeah, I guess. As a couple, they were they were asked to do that, right? Anything else? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Can you follow up on that? Can you just clarify because uh, previous reports have said that Dr. Dow was the fourth passenger who was going to be removed from three others that already complied. So are you saying that he and his wife had to get off the plane, or he alone did that? 
I, I, I actually don't know how it occurred, but I do know that one uh, husband and one wife would not have left each other. So. I, I, I don't have an answer for you. I don't know. But I'm sure, I'm, you know, I'm sure he did. Yes, sir. Right there. You got you to give your name again. Dr. Dow is in a secure location. I must tell you, I, I can't, I can't uh, tell you where he is because uh, you guys are really good at what you do. And, uh, you know, our plea is please leave the guy alone. Really, let him, let him go. Uh, can we anticipate him speaking? Huh? Can we anticipate him speaking about this at all? Say it one more time. Can we anticipate him speaking out about this at all? Yes. I pledge to you that will happen, but not now. Okay? Wait a minute. Wall Street Journal, as I recall. Do you guys know? Yeah. You know? Well. Do you My dad was making a connection in Chicago from a trip to, to California. Vacation. Anybody over here I'm ignoring? Yeah, I, I think his people, PR people say, we're taking a beating here. I mean, United has been taking a beating, okay? And that's not our role to beat them up. Uh, our role is just to, to uh, let the system work, okay? But they have been taking a beating, and I think, yeah, he was told, get out there. Go on a national, uh, he picked uh, uh, good, good Morning America. Okay, I'm sure he would have picked Charlie Rose if, if he could. Uh, the fact is, <laughs> I, I'm sure. So he was sought after, and he, he had to get out. He had to apologize. Really, think about it. Look at the video. I mean, even our president last night said that was horrible. Spicer said it. Anybody that looks at it says it. Because it's the right thing to do. He apologized, we accept that. But it's not going to let him off the hook here. Yes, sir. Well, I'll tell you what he told me yesterday. He has no interest in ever seeing an airplane. My guess is he'll be driven to Kentucky. Okay? And I don't really blame him. Yes, ma'am. She, she was on the flight. Uh, she, was, she wasn't bumped. I don't think she was bumped. Do you know? She, she, she wasn't bumped, but she was told to leave the plane once he was removed. What was the reason they told her to leave the plane? I don't know. Yeah. All right. Really? Yes, sir? I don't see how that's relevant, but I'm 33 years old. Uh, and uh, you talked about his uh, medical uh, practice in current time not being uh, part of what's going on today. Can you talk about the, the coverage uh, of his past medical practices, of the, of the issues that he was responding to in Kentucky? Speak to what now? Uh, the the you want to be covered about his, uh, about Dr. Dowd's uh, past missteps, uh, things he's going to 
the, yeah, yeah. Let, let me just, yeah, I'll address that. Uh, yeah, does he have uh, serious bumps in the road? Yeah. He's 69 years old. I can tell you this, and it's, it's I guess because I'm a lawyer. I sort of zero in on what's the law? The law is that something that remote in time is not relevant to what occurred last Sunday. It's not admissible in evidence in a court of law. So it's not, for me, as far as I'm concerned, it, it's not the story here. If this case goes to ju uh, jury, uh, they will never ever hear. They'll be instructed, if they have heard, to disregard it. So I'm not going to make that the issue. the issue. The issue is, as we all, I think, know, we want to go out to O'Hare Field, or whatever field we pick, we want to have uh, no mistreatment along the way to our final destination. Bottom line. Yes, ma'am. Could you speak just a little louder? Okay. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. How are the injuries specifically? How are the injuries caused? Well, they were caused by his um, uh, removal from the airplane. So. Uh, the three individuals involved, um, I don't know their names. We've requested them. We've requested, uh, well, we've requested a lot of things that aren't in our control. The reason for my petition that we filed yesterday was because the city of Chicago and United have control of things we don't have control of. and. Uh, believe it or not, sometimes things go missing, sometimes they disappear, and I want to make sure that doesn't happen. I don't know. He, if he was, I don't know that. I don't. Yes, sir. I don't think so. I don't think it's. I don't think so. Yes, sir. United's uh, contract with carriage allows us to deny boarding to passengers when we are overbooking the non volunteers, but it doesn't seem to even mention removing passengers. Does it allow us to remove passengers once they're boarded? I, I don't know. I'm going to hope that it does, uh, because then this would really be egregious, but I don't know. Okay. Yes, ma'am. You got to speak a little louder, please. Um, I don't know the answer. We have requested in my petition that was filed yesterday for that exact information. So um, I'll have to get back to you on that. I don't know how they do it. Uh, I've heard stories on how they do it, but I'm not going to get into that because uh, I, I don't know for sure. So I, I'd like to be more exact. I don't think so. I mean, I no, that would really be adding insult to injury here, literally.
Nope. And, you know, to his credit, to his credit, 